with us to make the way clear so that he can do what he's promised to do in your life, in my life, in the life of the church, and in the life of the churches at large. God is pleading. Imagine trying to fill up a jar that's already full of something else. You can't fill what's already full. Or imagine an empty jar with a lid that's screwed on tight. You can't fill that jar either because there's no access. Some of you have got lives like that. You've got a lid on it. I've come by here this morning with the word of God and the power of the Spirit to lift the lid off your life so that the Holy Spirit could come in. So that God could fill you with the light and the love of His Spirit and the power of God that transcends your circumstances. Some Christians are so full of themselves, they've got no room for the Holy Spirit. Some Christians have simply closed their heart to that work of the same Holy Spirit. Some folks are like this. By all outward standards, by all outward appearance, they seem to be successful. But they're so full of themselves that they can't, listen, they're close to anything else that God might want to do with their life. So in the sense of being with the Spirit, it's an impossibility, at least as far as it depends on us. If you think being filled with the Spirit depends on you, see, only God's Spirit can fill us. Only we need two things. I've already said what they are. Number one, emptiness. Number two, openness. If your life is filled with so many other things, if you've got a lid on your life, you can't fill a jar that's already full and you can't fill a jar that's not open. Would you lift your hand if you want your lid off to today? It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by it's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. Good, good, good. Hallelujah. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. Perfect in all of your ways. Perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. To us. You are never changing. You are perfect. Perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect. putting this matter into a greater perspective. The Holy Spirit is never given merely for our own personal enjoyment, our own personal satisfaction. You see, God sends His Spirit to enable us to live for Christ in the world. More than once in recent days, people have said that we need to see a revival in America. I've heard preachers, Sunday school teachers, and the standard lane say we need to see revival in this nation and in the world. And yes, we do. Can somebody say amen? Amen. amen. Yes. But I seem to remember a prayer that was, uh, I read a while back. It said, oh, Lord, change the world. But I need to tell you that what you need to do is by begin to say, Lord, change me. It's not the people out there that need to be revived by God's Spirit. But it's, it's you and it's me. We need a fresh fire. We need something to revitalize us. Our nation will be better when our churches are better. Our churches will be better when our people are better. And we will be better people when we're filled with the Holy Spirit. 
I know some of you didn't get as excited as I do about it. You need the Spirit to ignite you. Amen. So I'm going to invite you to enjoy me and pray right now that we might be filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, the words don't matter as much as the... Listen, these words don't matter as much as the attitude does. Say this with me. Holy Father, Holy Father I ask you, I ask you, fill me with your Holy Spirit, fill me with your Holy Spirit, so that I might live a life, so that I might live a life pleasing to you, pleasing to you. I want my life to bring glory, I want my life to bring glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. To the Lord Jesus Christ. I am empty, I am empty, and I need to be filled, and I need to be filled. Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you for forgiving my sin, for forgiving my sin through the death of your Son Jesus. By the death of your son, Jesus. And thank you, and thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to indwell in me. For sending the Holy Spirit to indwell in me. He's always available. He is our greatest need. Yes. So... Oh. 